Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to do a lesson on the vocabulary words and pictures for second grade journeys, lesson one, and the anchor text, Henry and Mudge. So for this lesson, we're going to do our turn and talk routine where I'm going to ask you a question or questions about pictures, and you're going to think about your answer. Then if you, there is someone at home with you, you can pair up with a partner or I can be your partner. And then you're going to share out loud in a complete sentence with your partner or out loud to me, your answer in a complete sentence. I can't hear you, but I want you to do your best to say your answer out loud and in a complete sentence. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil, and you will need a piece of paper. And you're going to write your numbers one to eight because for every vocabulary word, you're going to write it down. And then at the end of our lesson, I'm going to challenge you and you're going to either use crayons or your pencil to rainbow write or write your words one extra time, two extra times, or three extra times. So that's your challenge for each word, one through eight. You're going to write the vocabulary word. And then at the end of the lesson, I will challenge you to write each vocabulary word three more times. So let's briefly go over our turn and talk rules. If you have a, a partner at home, your eye to eye and knee to knee, number one. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. And of course, if you don't have a partner, you're my partner. And I will talk first while you listen. And then you will talk. Now, I can't hear you, but do your best saying your answer out loud. Don't talk too long or your partner will not have time to have a turn. So for every picture group of pictures, I'm going to ask, what did you notice or see? And you're going to say something like, I notice. And I'm also going to ask you, how are they all the same or similar? How are the pictures the same or similar? And you're going to answer by saying, they all. And then if you have a partner or I, if I'm your partner, you can say whether you agree with me. Or your partner and you can say I agree with you because or if you disagree and you can say I disagree with you because so here's our learning target I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story Henry and Mudge so read it again with me say it out loud I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand Important words from the story, Henry and Mudge. Here's our other learning target. I can have a conversation with a partner about the vocabulary words and pictures. Just like if you say, I agree with you, or I disagree with you, or you can say, I notice, and say how they're the same. So how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand important words from the story. Well, here's our success criteria. Here's our pathway to success. Um, it's kind of like climbing a learning mountain. And here's our steps. With my partner, I will, number one, we're going to look closely at each group of pictures. Number two, I will say what I notice about the pictures. How are they the same or similar? And number three, read each word and its definition. So here's our first three pictures. What do you notice or see? So you can say, I notice or I see. So say it out loud and I'll give you time to say it. I notice. Okay, well, I noticed that in the first picture, the dog has straight blonde hair. In the middle picture, it looks like a straight road. And this lady looks like 
She's getting her hair cut straight across. So how are all these pictures the same or similar? They all, so use your words and a complete sentence. They all, well, they all have straight hair. So the word is straight. Write that down, S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, -T, straight. Now, if you need more time to write it, I'm going to fast push pause and then start it up again. Straight means not curling, curving, or bending. Straight. So make sure you write that down for number one. Some kinds of dogs have long, straight hair. Straight. Think about it. What objects around you are straight? What objects are not straight? Okay, here's our next group of pictures. What do you notice or see in one, two, or all three of the pictures? I notice, well, I notice that here's two collars. I notice that these are dogs and they have collars and then there's some more collars. So how are all these pictures the same or similar? They all, Finish that thought, they all, well, they all have collars or bands around the dog's neck. So the word is collars, write that down on your paper, C-O-L-L-A-R-S, collars, collars. What are collars? Bands that animals wear around their necks. Collars come in different styles. A collar goes around a dog's neck. Think about it. Do you think dogs need collars? Why or why not? Third group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice that there are some ducks in a row in a straight line. I notice that this looks like a row or a straight line and these children are in a row or a straight line. So how are these pictures all the same? They all, well, I said it already. They all are in a row or a straight line. So let's see what the word is, row, R-O-W. Write that for number three. A row is a number of things arranged in a line. Row. The dog treats are lined up in a row on the shelf. Think about it. Where have you seen people lined up in a row? When have you had to practice something a few times in a row? So make sure you write row for number three, R-O-W. If you need to push pause, push pause and then play again. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice that this looks like a floppy hat. I notice this dog has long floppy ears and this Rabbit has an ear that's flopping over and a ear that's standing straight up. So how are these all the same or similar? They all, well, they all have some sort of floppiness to them, right? So the word is floppy, F-L-O-P-P-Y, floppy. It has that double P so that the O says ah, floppy. What is floppy? Hanging or moving in a loose, droopy way. You could say droopy as well. Brown dogs have floppy ears. The ears hang down very low. Think about it. What would a floppy hat look like? Well, we have a picture of a floppy hat right here. You usually wear that out in the sun. So spell floppy, F-L-O-P-P-Y. Number five, next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see, finish that thought. 
Well, I noticed that this is a person standing and there's a bunch of kids standing around a table and it looks like this dog is actually standing as well. So how are these all the same or similar? They all, well, I would say they're all showing stand or standing. So let's see what the word is, stood. That's the past tense for stand. So it means you did, you stood in the past. You're standing, but you stood, stood, S-T-O-O-D, stood. That means to stand up, but in the past. Was in an upright position on one's feet. It means it already happened. The children measured the dog. He stood one foot tall. Think about it. If you stood 10 feet tall, would you be taller or shorter than you are now? Well, I definitely would be taller because I'm only five foot five. So 10 feet is almost twice as much. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice Odie from Garfield has his tongue out. It looks like he's drooling and it looks like this boy is drooling and this Dog has saliva coming out of his mouth. So how are these all the same or similar? Are they all, well, I said it, they all are showing drool or saliva. So the word is drooled. It has that ED ending. So it means it already happened, past tense. Let saliva drip from your mouth. Drooled, spell it D-R-O-O-L-E-D, -O -O -E drooled. The root word is drool. St. Bernard drooled all over the place. That means he did it already. It's in the past. Think about it. If a dog drooled, what might it have seen or smelled? Why does a dog drool? Hmm. Why do you drool? I usually drool when I see ice cream. Mm, makes my mouth water. All right, number seven, next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. You got it. I notice this dog has curly brown hair. I notice this looks like curly fries and this girl has curly or wavy hair. Well, how are these all the same? They all, well, I've already said it. They all have curly hair or wavy hair. So what's the word? Curly, to curl, curly, C-U-R-L-Y, curly, write it down. Having a twisted ring or spiral shape, curly. A poodle is a dog that has very curly hair, just like this picture right here, the brown dog. Think about it. Who do you know that has curly hair? All right, last group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. I noticed this dog is standing on a scale and looking at his weight. I noticed that Garfield is standing also on a stale scale with balloons, and this dog looks sad standing on a scale. So how are these all the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show them standing on a scale, and you stand on a scale because you want to get your weight, right? So the word is weighed. Two way is the root way and ed weighed means in the past tense, had a certain heaviness. So a dog can be weighed on a scale. Then the vet knows how heavy the dog is. Think about it. When and where have you been weighed? Have you ever stood on a scale? Well, I know every time I go to the doctor, I have to stand on a scale and get weighed. 
So on the top of your paper, I want you to reflect on your learning, just like Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. They're looking at their reflection. They're thinking about how did I do today? The learning target, I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, Henry and Mudge. Could you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said how each group of pictures were the same. Three, I was able to say how most of the pictures were the same. Two, I was able to say how some of the pictures were the same. Or one, I was not able to say how any of the picture pairs or groups were the same. Okay, again, Winnie the Pooh's looking at his reflection. Think about how did you do, how well did you do, how did you hit the target by following class expectations? Would you give yourself a four? I'm an expert. I was fully engaged in trying. Three, I'm a master. I was mostly engaged in trying. Two, I'm an apprentice. I sometimes tried. Or one, I'm a novice. I had a hard time participating. So this is your participating. How did you participate? Or did you keep trying even when it was hard? So let's review. Check your work straight, not curling, bend, cur not curling, curving or bending, straight. Number two, collars, bands that animals wear around their necks. Three, row, a number of things arranged in a line, row. Four, floppy, hanging or moving in a loose, droopy way. Five, stood, was in an upright position on one's feet, stood. Six, drooled, let saliva drip from the mouth, drooled. Seven, curly, having a twisted ring or spiral shape, curly. Eight, weighed, had a certain heaviness, weighed. All right, if you need to, check your work. Other than that, look at your paper. You have your eight vocabulary words. Now we're at the end. Challenge yourself. Make that brain work. You can get out your crayons or your pencil, and you're going to rainbow write or write each of the vocabulary words three more times. Okay? So this is your challenge to really exercise your brain muscles. Write your vocabulary words three times each. Thank you, boys and girls, and have a great day. Day.